most of the focus of what we understand about salmon is what we understand either in freshwater or coastally. And all of the different countries have been tracking their salmon in freshwater and coastally. And very few other than the Russians have really gone far out into the open ocean. Knowing where are these populations that we're interested, where are they out in the ocean, is a really important first step to understand what factors are affecting them when they're out there. In general, from both previous expeditions in the Gulf of Alaska, we understood salmon distribution and their biological stage. Plus, we appropriate state-of-the-art methods and technologies such as eDNA and onboard genetic stock ID. Really, for us, it's about understanding what happens out there, and uh, and maybe we can, you know, use that information to improve management and, and certainly understanding of what's what's driving the fluctuations in salmon populations. If you don't know what stocks are present, then then you're only answering half the question. Dr. Dick Beamish and I are really excited to add a gillnet vessel to the trawl vessels that will be out in the Pacific in the winter of 2022. This allows us to really start to study how accurate the sampling tools that we have available really are. We need to understand this. We don't just need to manage to understand what our, how much fish can be taken next year. We want to know what's going to be here in, in 10 years, in 50 years. So I'm excited about seeing that big view of the North Pacific. This is just the beginning.